Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Gamer Couple. We are Sam and Aiden, and for today's video, we're going to be showing you four brand new pro tips to up your game in Fortnite. Also, Fortnite is doing a support a creator event where you guys can redeem a free wrap by using a code in the item shop. If you'd like to support us, feel free to use code GAMERCOUPLE at checkout. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Now real quick, we wanted to give a huge thank you to GameStop and Power A for partnering up with us on this video. They were kind enough to send us these amazing his and her controllers that are the perfect gift for Valentine's Day. They look and feel incredible when playing, and right now you'll even save $10 when purchasing two of them. GameStop also has tons of other deals going on right now for apparel, collectibles, and even $30 guaranteed trading credit on Kingdom Hearts 3 and other select titles. This has been an amazing opportunity partnering with GameStop and Power A for these controllers, and we highly recommend them as a gift to yourself or a loved one for Valentine's Day. A link to these controllers will be in the description below. Coming in at number 4, we have the Pyramid Launchpad. Now as most of you guys know, Launchpad's got a buff to go 25% higher when launching. This is a major buff in public matches when going for high kill games, but a nerf to competitive games because they leave you gliding in the air for so long. But with the Pyramid Launchpad, you can reduce the time that you're in the air while gliding, rotate even faster when traveling short distances, and become way harder to hit because your increased movement speed. To do the Pyramid Launchpad, all you have to do is cap your launchpad with a pyramid before using it. Now quickly edit the pyramid into a ramp facing the direction that you want to rotate. Placing a ramp above the pad gives you a small but fast version of the launch pad. This makes short late game rotations much much safer. We wanted to thank Reddit user Jerry is real for showing us this amazing tip. Links to his post will be in the description below. Coming in at number 3, we have an awesome new tip to stop the revive animation after being rezzed. When being rezzed, it normally takes 10 seconds plus an additional 1 second for the revive animation. This one second of not being able to build or shoot after being rezzed can be really detrimental to the fight and could possibly cost you the game. What a lot of people don't know is that you can actually skip that animation and immediately jump back into the fight. To do this, simply have an emote ready to use while being rezzed. As soon as the revive timer gets to zero, use the emote and this will allow you to skip the animation for getting up. This is definitely a smaller tip to know, but it has the potential to change your entire game. Thanks so much to BCC Trolling and Try Too Hard for showing us this tip. Links to their socials will be in the description below. Coming in at number 2, we have Thwifo Pyramids. Now these are an amazing building technique that block an enemy's attempt to keep high ground and allow you to take it back pretty easily. When double ramping, most people know to add pyramids on top to block the enemy from running on your ramp. This technique is great, but most good players know how to counter this by building one story higher. This is where Ghost Thwifo's Pyramids come in handy. Whenever you double ramp out, you want to quickly turn around and place a wall and a pyramid. This allows you to place a pyramid one story higher and it completely blocks the enemy from ramping up. This allows you to quickly do 290s and retake high ground with little effort. This does take some practice to get down fast, but it has little to no counters once you master it. We wanted to give a huge thank you to Ghost Wifo for showing us this tip. Links to his socials will be in the description below. Finally, coming in at number 1, we have a way to stop people from landing on top of your builds during scrims. Any of you guys that play scrims know that when rotating, most people will just land on your turtle and build up. This can be super frustrating because they take your positioning with no consequences. With this technique, you can completely stop people from building on your 1x1 and potentially get a trap kill while doing so. To do this, open the top of your 1x1 and pull out your walls. Now edit the first two rows to create low walls and place them around the top of your 1x1. These low walls will stop any enemy from building onto your 1x1, and if you're fast enough, you can even edit them down for a quick trap kill. If you ever accidentally land on someone's 1x1 while they're doing this, you can still quickly place ramps and build off the side of it. We wanted to thank Reddit user Raider464 for showing us this tip. Links to his post will be in the description below. Anyway guys, it's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to never miss a Fortnite video or live stream. If you want to stay up to date with us, our Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and Twitch are in the description. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.